need cereal out of these things. Hmm. Happy Friday. You know what? I forgot to turn the fan off. Hang on. I'll be right back. Okay. Much better. Um, I think I've mentioned this before. My house was built in 1925 and the most amazing thing, not really, about my house is that the walls are not insulated because the house is so freaking old. So, um, the second bedroom where my office is gets pretty chilly because my desk is right by the windows. As you can see, there are two windows behind me. Um, so it gets kind of cold up here in the winter. What is it right now? Hmm, 30, but I have not looked to see if there is wind chill. Um, so it could be relatively, it could be relatively cold outside. Yeah. I just finished working. I've been working since 7.30 this morning. It is now 6.08 central time. Um, so a pretty long day for a Friday. Um, I decided, uh, not to go downstairs and train today. I'm going to save that up and do it tomorrow. Um, just because I'm feeling, oh, I don't know, a little Friday-ish. Um, normally I would kind of force the issue, but I'm also feeling a little bit inflamed from the cardio I've been doing. So like my body just feels like really waterlogged. I'm just like kind of heavy, especially my legs. Um, I did this stair climber yesterday for about a half an hour and I was only supposed to do 20 minutes and I don't know why I decided that a half an hour was better because I also walked for probably a half an hour prior to getting on the stair climber because there was some bro on my stair climber, um, which was fine because then I got a little, you know, extra steps in and stuff, a little lower impact yesterday. So yeah, it's been a really long day. Um, People are slowly starting to kind of come back from the holidays. And so it's, um, it's starting to get busier and I just have so many work streams that I'm doing and so many projects and like so many people to make happy. Um, and it's pretty hard to do all of that, right. To kind of be all things to all people. So, um, just going to have some downtime tonight. I'm going to do some Ramwad, um, just to get a little bit of movement in and kind of loosen up. Um, some of my tighter spots right now, like my shoulders are still pretty tight and, uh, like I said, my legs are pretty shot right now. So, excuse me, going to take care of that, um, which would be good. Maybe have a little snack later, um, hang out with Kitty, watch some TV, um, upload some videos to YouTube. So I, rookie mistake, right? So all my videos right now on my page are out of order, which is fine because it's not like anyone's watching them. Um, but I needed to re-upload my videos, like my H, like, I don't know. I didn't realize that I hadn't saved my videos in HD or something. And so just the standard definition and the quality is terrible and it was so bad. So I deleted everything yesterday, re-uploaded, and I didn't think about it that everything was just going to upload at the same time and it wasn't necessarily going to be in order. So if anyone ever comes across this, um, you will know why that like my Wednesday is like behind my Saturday. And I mean, it's so weird, but anyway, so I, but I'm glad that I fixed my videos because it was terrible. Um, so I did that yesterday. Yeah. I stayed up way too late. Like I was up until like midnight, like playing around with video stuff. So it's really easy for me to like go down the rabbit hole and takes me forever to like want to stop doing it and it's I think has something to do with the whole like addictive personality thing because if it feels good I keep doing it um you know and I can you know effectively get addicted to anything and you know it can be really like innocuous things you know just because if it's something that I find enjoyable like I just want to continue to do it so um so I have to be a little bit careful um which is why I don't drink because I remember the first time I got drunk and I liked it and it scared me and I was like 17 when that happened and I was like oh this is not normal so you should not feel this way so anyway but yeah so taking a day off today from training gonna hit it hard tomorrow um, we'll do active recovery on Sunday um, I there's no football on I don't think this week now because they're getting ready for the playoffs so I don't have to like ride the emotional wave of being a Packer fan this weekend 
um, which is really awesome. Um, nutrition is going pretty good, been pretty consistent. I am though definitely feeling um, a little bit, like I said, a little bit of inflammation from my cardio. Um, just kind of feeling like some of that water weight that you get right when you do a lot of cardio. So I only did like an hour of moderate intensity cardio this week. And that's not in addition, that's in addition to my, just my normal training. Um, so I don't know if it's just from that, my body's just kind of adjusting. I also yesterday think I hit my sodium a little bit high. Like, um, I kind of felt like this morning when I woke up that I was a little bit stiff and like my legs just felt kind of stiff and like my feet felt stiff and my hands felt stiff. So it could be a little bit of that too. So, um, I did start tracking, uh, my daily weigh-ins on just, I put it, started putting it back on my phone. Um, so I will have like a graph to be able to show you on uh, next week on Wednesday. And I'm hoping that these numbers move because I yesterday, I mean, I, oh my God, I did, I trained for, well, I mean, I did cardio for an hour. Um, and so I was really expecting like the scale to be down today and it just did not happen. So, um, but again, definitely feeling a little bit of water weight. I think I kind of sound like Nick Acabo. It's water weight. I wish. <laughs> Um, yeah, so just going to keep pushing along, stay consistent with nutrition over the weekend, um, you know, and then hit it back here on Wednesday for you guys. So, um, what else is going on? Just, there's a lot going on. Um, there's a lot going on. And so if you are struggling, um, or just having difficulty processing, um, definitely reach out to some friends and family and talk through what you're thinking and, Right now, I could highly recommend that you stay off the internet because there's a lot of like, there's just like a lot of flexing going on and a lot of trolling and a lot of conspiracy theories. And it's like, it's, it's okay to like, look at that stuff. Like, you know, I'm not saying that I don't ever do it because I certainly do. Um, but I also see where it can be detrimental to your mental health. And so please do not let yourself get sucked into some of that stuff because it's just upsetting. Um, and I mean, it's important to be informed, but you know, just watch the news briefings, stay off Twitter. Um, that's just my recommendation and I'm on Twitter, but, um, I tend to go on Twitter to look for pictures of cats and stuff. So um, but yeah, so there's just a lot going on. So, you know, take some time away this weekend from social media if you can, um, just kind of chill and just remember that like, this is America, we will be fine. Um, there's no need to lose your shit. Like everything's going to be okay. So, um, don't listen to people who tell you otherwise, like just look in history and like see all the things that have happened in this country and where we came from out of it at, you know, and guarantee every single time you will see where we came out of things in much better shape than we went into, you know, some kind of political crisis. So that was my miniature TED talk. Stay off the internet. That's my advice. Um, yeah, other than that, just like excited for the weekend. I'm going to end up having to work, I think a little bit over the weekend, um, to clean up some stuff. Um, do laundry. I have to clean my house again. It is a disaster. I think just like getting back into the groove with work and not like being around to straighten up the house all day. Um, like I was when I was on PTO, um, definitely took a toll. Um, I have an obscene amount of recycling that I need to take out, um, down to the bin. Our recycling comes every two weeks, which is crazy because I swear, like I can fill a huge garbage can by myself in probably four days. Like I'm like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, I don't know if I just happen to buy a lot of stuff that just has like all this recyclable packaging or what my deal is. But so I'm going to take all that stuff down to the garage. Um, the can is probably almost full anyway. So, um, I'll just wait until it gets emptied this weekend and then I'll fill it right back up and probably piss my neighbors off. But, um, it is what it is. Anyway, um, other than that, um, I'm trying to think about what my Friday vlog might be about. Like, I don't know if it's going to always be like a recap, if it's going to be a little Ted talk, um, if it's going to be like maybe a, like a miniature reaction type of a thing, um, which is not necessarily what I want this to turn into. But again, I think it's inevitable that I'm going to have opinions about things that I watch on some of the other channels that I'm doing. Like right now, the big thing is 
people are reacting to Amberlynn Reed, you know, her first weigh in of the, of the year. And, <laughs> you know, it's funny and it's, you know, but it's not funny at the same time, but it is very, and I understand like I've gone through the, the history, right. Of like, I've watched all of her videos on her channel and I see, you know, why, she bothers the hell out of people. I totally get it, you know, and she totally trolls people and she, you know, is manipulative and she says things that, you know, it's like, who is saying these things to you? You know, like one of the things this week was, is that like, she didn't upload her video like on Wednesday, it came out maybe Thursday or like, you know, something. And First of all, you have to understand this girl has a really crazy sleep schedule. She doesn't sleep at night. She sleeps like during the day. And so, and I think her partner is the same way. I don't think that they sleep like normal hours. Why? Because YouTube is your job, right? So she doesn't have to f function per se, um, like in the daytime with the rest of us, right? You know, she can just kind of do her thing, right? And so, um, so <laughs> allegedly... People were like messaging her being like, you know, screw you. Like you promised us this video and whatever. And understand that this was on the day that we were having a major political uprising in our country. And like her response was, is like, I can't believe that I'm the center of all of your universes. And like, you're messaging me about not, you know, you know, I'm just paraphrasing here about not posting. It's, it's. You know, I hadn't filmed it yet. It was still Wednesday, you know, whatever her reasons was. And people were like, are you so incredibly tone deaf, right? That you think that people actually care about this. And I'm, I'd be curious if she would ever release some of the messages she gets, right? You know, because it's, I'm not saying that she's making it up because she, she's probably not. I guarantee you she's not right. You know, because she does get a lot of hate because her words and her actions do not match. Right. And that bothers people totally get it right but when she she's like oh yeah all you haters you know telling me you know like oh you know where's my video you fat cow like I just have a hard time believing that that happened you know versus it being no one was commenting about her video because we were all watching this coup attempt and she just needed attention like is what it appears right you know versus you know like and like I see the people in her comments that are supporting her you know and of course there's some assholes in there like that's fine but I'm just sort of like hey girl like are you making some shit up here because it you don't have to right you know you don't have to do that but the other piece of this you know was that people do not believe her when she says she weighs 526 pounds like they she did not weigh herself on camera which is something she has done previously in the past People are like, this is highly suspect. Like people are like, she's definitely closer to probably like 540, you know, and there are people who have been watching her that have, you know, you know, for a long time that have watched her weight cycle, like up to like 572, I think was her heaviest weight. Allegedly, again, a lot of people do not believe her, you know, down to the high 400s, back up to the mid 500s, like, and they're like, oh no, when she's like 580, you know, 570, her, you know, face turns into a hexagon and she definitely doesn't have the hexagon face right now. And it's just like, okay guys, you know, but so that's the conspiracy right now is that Amberlynn Reed doesn't really weigh 526 pounds, that she's much heavier than that and that she can barely move and like all these things, you know? So that was the major reaction yesterday. And it was just on top of, you know, people like, you know, really <laughs> just being like, do you honestly think people care? So that was a majority of the reactions. And then the rest was, is you're full of shit, girl. Right. You know? So yeah, it was a really interesting day, like on YouTube yesterday. Um, you know, just kind of walking through a lot of that stuff and like watching, I find reaction channels to be fascinating. Um, it, it blows my mind, like that people get paid to comment on other people's lives. Like that's such a strange thing to me, right? You know, that, you know, these, some of these people have hundreds of thousands of followers, you know? And then, so it's like, it's so fascinating. It's still fascinating to me. Here we are a week into my, you know, little YouTube career here, and I'm still fascinated by this process, you know? And so, so yeah. And then the next big one that people are gonna start coming down on is Nick Akato again, because he's got some crazy videos out again. But, um, but yeah, 
Yeah, it's been a good week though. Busy but good. Um, so anyway, um, just want to check in in case anybody's watching. If you're not, that's totally fine. Uh, um, have a good weekend. I will talk to you guys on Monday. Um, I would say go Packers and as always, fuck the Bears, but nobody's playing this weekend, um, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, otherwise, stay off social media if you're stressed out. Wear a mask. Don't be a douche. Be nice to people. Um, avoid being an asshole. Drink your water. Have a good night. Bye-bye.